the, the lawyers of SMNI cannot answer, and you cannot answer, then who will now answer the questions raised by the Honorable Kimbo? Uh, in the next hearing, we still invite Pastor Kibuloy. Yes, because sir. it's up to us to decide. Okay. It is very clear, based on our documents, and I will furnish you a copy, that he is, or he was, ultimate beneficial owner. I move that we invite the pastor, Pastor Apollo Kibuloy, we will. They, we will, next year. We will re-invite. Yes. Okay. Congresswoman uh, Kimbo. Yes, Mr. Chair. Housekeeping lang po. Yes. Um, this pertains to the letter of Opo. Pastor Kibuloy, um, uh, which you read earlier. So, um, dito po, he mentions that um, he had not, well, according to him, he had not been an officer of the corporation um, from the time of the enactment of RA 11422, which was in 2019. And this is the reason for why he says... Um, he should be excused from uh, this hearing. However, um, Mr. Chair, so first of all, uh, based on our records, um, as of 2021, he was listed as ultimate beneficial owner, and that's based on the documents submitted to us. And as we know, ultimate beneficial owner means that he effectively controls a corporation. Um, of course, he, he can argue that may technicality, hindi pa rin yon officer, but Green pa man, ibig sabihin nun, marami siyang kaalaman being, um, having effective control over the corporation. Number two, um, pwede ba natin malaman? So sa ngayon po, ang executive pastor ay si Pastor Akobo, tama ba? Uh, can I answer that, Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Prior to him, sino po ang executive pastor? Pastor Apollo C. Mr. Chair. At nagpalit sila. Um, noong December 19, 2022. Tama yes, po ba? Chair. Okay, so in which case, si Pastor Kibaloy ay executive pastor up to December 19, 2022. Tama po? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, in which case, um, Mr. Chair, ibig sabihin nun, parang minimislead yata tayo ng sulat na to. Kasi even after the enactment of the franchise agreement, siya pa rin po ay uh, officer ng... Uh, ng corporation, uh, being Chair. the exec executive pastor until December 19, 2020. Can I explain to that, Mr. Chair? Yes, please. Uh, there is a legal concept with respect to corporation soul. Uh, a corporation soul, usually this is a corporation with respect to religious organizations. Yeah. If, you are, if you are the chief executive minister, you're holding the properties of a church as a trustee of the church. The real owner of the church is actually the members of the church. In fact, that is based on Section 108 of the Revised Corporation Code, Mr. Chair. So that is corporation code, a uh, corporation soul, different from one-person corporation or, or an ordinary corporation. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, hindi naman po ito korte. Um, oh uh, yes, purpose naman po ng hearing. Attorney uh, Tultino, ang tanong ho niya is, I mean, wag ho tayo lumabas, kasi we're talking about sole corporation, wag ho tayo umikot-ikot masyado sa offices. We're talking of UBO. Uh, Ultimate yes. beneficial owner. Owner who has effective and control over the yes, corporation. That is the question of the Honorable... Uh, yes, in which case, Mr. Chair, which means that he has sufficient information okay. and therefore may kakayahan po siya to shed light on... Uh, the, the matter Anong pag UBO so, kayo? In which case, na. Mr. Chair, ang act sa akin lang po is we must insist that um that he appears before us. You know alam mo Chair. alam po niyo attorney Gatian. In the letter kasi sabi niya nung ni-renew yung franchise niya nung December 19 20 noong 2019. Uh, 2019. Hindi na raw siya officer. Yun ang sulat. Ang tanong ta niya, he, he may have been an officer, but he is still the UBO. He was never an officer okay. of SMNI. Correct. No, but nakalagay nga ron. Pero you know, now, he is still the UBO. So he's invited being the UBO. So in the next hearings, we will now, I mean, the records that you have submitted to the committee shows that he is, he is, the, he, he is and was the UBO until 2022. Before the so can I explain it? So hindi po hindi po siya mali hindi ho 
tugma dun sa sulat ho na binigay niya. Yun ang point of the council, ni, I'm sorry, ni Congresswoman Stella Kimbo. Hindi po siya tumutugma because the, ang importante ho dito, sino po talaga may ari na ito? You know, we're looking at the ultimate beneficial owner. No? I think, Mr. Chair, the best person to answer is the lawyer of Pastor Kipuloy. Who is? He's here, Mr. Chair. Oh, no, no, you're not anymore the lawyer. You are the I'm lawyer. I'm the lawyer of, of SMNI, Mr. Chair, not okay. the lawyer of Pastor Kipuloy. Is she here? Yes, she is. Ma'am, please, uh, 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 please state your name. Good. Yes. Afternoon to the, our esteemed members, to yes. our chairman and esteemed members yes, of the Committee yes. on Leadership Plant, I says. I am Attorney Antoinette Principe. I am the counsel and representative of Pastor Kiboloy, and I was tasked specifically to furnish this honorable committee with that letter that you have read a while ago, Your Honor. Okay, okay. So thank you very much for serving the letter, which now has opened another set of questions. And uh, we're, this position of the Honorable Kimbo is that uh, there are, there's an inconsistency of the content of the letter and now uh, the documents that you've submitted before this committee, especially in the GIS of 2022 and 2023. She's now going into, there's a comparison. Can yes, you please reply? Uh, is um, it inconsistent or not? Your Honor, I'm afraid I will, I'm not able to answer that question intelligently because when I had a meeting with Pastor Kiboloy last December 8, we only had a very brief discussion. He received the letter which came from this committee on the evening of December 7, and we had a very short meeting on December 8. And in as much as it was a very long weekend holiday, he does not have the documents. He has no access to such documents, so we cannot answer that intelligently, Your yeah. Honor. So, so, man, uh, so my question is, uh, Honorable Paduano, who can answer the question? I mean, the, if the lawyers of SM and I cannot answer, and you cannot answer, then who will now answer the question says by the Honorable Kimbo? Uh, Mr. Man. Uh, the Honorable Kimbo, are you going to give way to the Honorable Paduano? Yes. yes. Because she has the floor. The Honorable uh, Paduano. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, the lawyer, Mr. Uh, Pastor Kibulo is present. But the trabajo nila is to just submit to us the letter of uh, to the invitation of this committee. And I think he, sinabi niya, wala siyang knowledge. And the letter of Pastor Kibulo, it's up to the committee if we will accept or not. Diba? And we cannot question the, the details from the lawyer because in the first place, as a good thing, hindi niya may detalye, hindi niya lamang detalye. So, Mr. Chairman, it's up to the, to the committee, to the chair, to decide whether in the next hearing we still invite Pastor Kibuloy. Yes, because sir. it's up to us to decide. Okay. Thank you very much. We will decide on that later. Thank you very much, Honorable Paduano. So... Because the only reason why I acknowledge you, ma'am, was because I don't think you said to acknowledge, requested that you will answer the questions being raised by the Honorable uh, Kimbo. Now, you can't also answer the same questions being raised yes. by the Honorable uh, Kimbo. Yes, so, yes, I will just... so we're still left in a quandary as to uh, his being the UBO which we're really interested in. No? The Honorable... Um, yeah, yes, uh, Mr. Chair, I will Gregory. simplify my questions. Yes. Just based on the letter. Um, the letter says, I have not been an officer of the corporation from the time of the enactment of the RA. So that's 2019. Hence, I must respectfully send my regrets for my absence in the hearing today. So, ang sinasabi ba dito sa liham ay dahil hindi daw siya officer, wala siyang sufficient na information and therefore hindi na siya a-appear ngayong araw. Yun bang ibig sabihin nun? Ipaliwanag nyo lang. Yes. Um, yun. Yun ang idea ng logic. To... Yes, yes or no lang. Yes or no lang. Para madali. Yes or no. Yes, because he's not an officer and Ay, the invitation nga. states So, so tama. It has to do with not having sufficient information. Yes. Correct. Right. Okay. However, it is very clear based on our documents and I will furnish you a copy that he is or he was ultimate beneficial owner at least April 29, 2021, which is beyond the enactment of the RA. 
which is 2019. Okay? And as ultimate beneficial owner, he has effective control over the corporation. Now, will you agree with me that having effective control over a corporation, would you have sufficient information about the corporation? With due respect to the chair. Yes or no only. If with you have respect. effective control over a corporation, any corporation, if person X has effective control over corporation Y, does person X have sufficient information about corporation Y? With due respect to the chairman and members of the committee, um, as I said, the engagement of Pastor Kibolo to this representation was solely... I am asking about person X and corporation Y. Again, I am not privy to that specific matter. Mr. Chair, our attorney is not being responsive. No, so I, you know, yeah, I, you know, you were you were introduced as the lawyer of uh, Pastor Only... Kibolo, just to deliver. Are you trying to tell me that you were sent here, ma'am, just to deliver the letter to the yes, chair? That's the only thing. Because, You're not supposed um, to answer any question. Yes, Your Honor, because the Pastor Kibole respects the proceedings, today's proceedings, despite the very short period of time he was given when he received the invitation. As a show of respect to this committee, he wanted to have someone personally deliver the letter. Okay, so he, she was just regrets. here just to to deliver the, the, the letter. Yes, Your Honor. So I'm I move that we invite the Pastor, Pastor Apollo Kibolo. We will. We will the, uh, next year. We will reinvite. Yes. Okay, thank you. The Honorable JJ Suarez. The